History of the Southwestern Franchise. The Southwestern franchise has the biggest fleet of trains of any railway franchise, consisting of the class 158, 159, 442, 444, 450, 455, 456, 458, and 707. And an all time amazing livery. I mean, as with other franchises created in this period, the Southwestern franchise was formed from the termination of British Rail. The franchise was awarded to Southwest Trains, which was a subsidiary of Stagecoach, with operations commencing on the 4th of February 1996, with it running the first privatised scheduled train service in 48 years since the railways were last nationalised. As their franchise contract was coming to an end, Stagecoach bid for the franchise again, alongside first group of Ned Rails and Sea Containers. This franchise, along with others in 2001, were intended to last for 20 years, but in 2002, the Strategic Rail Authority reduced the duration of franchises and awarded Southwest Trains a three-year contract from the 4th of February 2004. It was announced in December 2005 that Arriva, First Group, MTR with Sea Containers, National Express and Stagecoach had all been shortlisted for the new Southwestern franchise. This new franchise combined Southwest Trains and Island Line Trains. Island Trains being a railway line on the Isle of Wight, which runs on the east coast of the island. It uses third rail to power X London Underground District Line D78 stock, now known as the Class 484. This, as well as Southwest Trains, was operated by Stagecoach at the time. After MTR with sea containers withdrew from the bid, it was announced in September 2006 that the franchise contract would be awarded to Stagecoach again, with the franchise starting in February 2007. It was discussed to extend the franchise until April 2019, but the negotiations failed with Department for Transport, saying that they were going to re-let the franchise when it came to an end. With the company shortlisted for the new franchise, announced in February 2006, the shortlisted companies being only First Group and Stagecoach. Later in that year, in June to be exact, MTR joined First Group in their bid for the franchise, agreeing on a 30% sharehold of the franchise. It was announced on the 20th of August 2017, that first group partnered with MTR would be awarded the new franchise, running it under South Western Railway. With new control of the franchise, the new operators were committed to introduce new trains. With MTR and first group ordering 90 class 701s from the Adventure series built by Bombardier, 60 10 car trains and 35 car trains, which would equal 750 carriages. These new trains are to run on the South Western Railway Metro services out of London Waterloo, eventually replacing the class 455. 456, 458, and newly built class 707s. If you want to know why MTR and First Group are getting rid of brand new trains, watch my video on why Southwestern Railway are getting rid of the class 707s. These new trains from Bombardier were meant to enter service in mid 2020. We're in 2021. And is the biggest order of adventure trains to date. They're also refurbishing the rest of their stock to match the new company's interior and livery, which should make the entire fleet consist of the class 158, 159, 442, 444, 450 and 701 by the time they have all been delivered. However, it hasn't been all sunshine and roses as in April 2018, an independent review into Southwestern Railway's performance was conducted. This was due to concerns in the rise of cancellations and delays from the operator, with Southwestern Railway renegotiating their franchise deal in July 2018 as they couldn't deliver on the promises it agreed on. The strike started after Southwestern Railway's plans to introduce driver-only operations on their new trains, meaning there'll be no need for an onboard guard, leaving people without a job. I'm pretty sure this wasn't resolved and I think the removal of onboard guards is still going ahead. As with other franchises, Due to the pandemic, Southwestern Railway's franchise contract had been cancelled, being given a management contract until the 1st of April 2023, when their Emergency Recovery Management Agreement ends in March 2021. And that gets us up to date with the history of the Southwestern franchise. I really hope to see the Class 701 soon. And I'm praying the seats are comfortable. I'm praying. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Doesn't this look prickly?
prickly scary. <laughs> oh, it just dropped on the floor.